Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're looking at uh, something from e-ink, which is a little bit bigger than your typical uh, Kindle or e-book reader, uh, but it shows uh, a new technology process from uh, the company that makes the screen, or makes the technology behind the screens in those sorts of devices, those Hubble smartwatch. Uh, it's a color uh, display that can be used for a whole wall, and you can see that it's also got um, the ability to change colors. So I'm um, here with uh, Giovanni Mancini from, uh, from e-ink, and uh, what are we looking at over here? So what we're looking at is the, uh, our latest product we announced is called e-ink Prism. And with e-ink Prism, what we have is we are incorporating our color changing uh, film technology and we're incorporating it into architectural products. So this is not a display, it's really intended for architecture or design applications. So think of large hotel lobbies, uh, you know, large, uh, large office complexes, maybe public spaces like airports, so where you want to actually change the environment or the aesthetics of the environment without introducing kind of the, uh, the light pollution that you typically have with LCDs and LED displays. But also in terms of kind of, it does, it's not limited to piles on walls, we can actually apply this to different surfaces, they don't have to be flat. And you know, as an example of this is, you know, we, you know, we also incorporated the film in a table where you have a glass table with the color filming, uh, color changing film technology that's EA Prism incorporated into the glass of the table. And uh, in, in both the case of the table and the wall, is there any illumination, or is this just are we just using ambient light to see the colors? This is ambient light. You know, it's exactly the way you would any other design or furniture product, or you know, as I say, paint in general. Um, you know, you, you you illuminate it when you want light, and you don't illuminate it when you don't. Uh, what, so, uh, so one of the things that makes e-ink different from like an LCD display typically has been the fact that you can use uh, ambient light to, to view things, and it's uh, pretty vibrant here. It does require more power when you're doing a comp uh, quick screen refreshes like this than if you were just looking at a static image, though, right? No, actually. Um uh, it, it doesn't because you know if you look at the size of this display, we're using you know less than less than one or two amps to power this entire display. So think of you know how much it would require for an LCD display to drive that. You know we use of the order of microamps per centimeter squared in terms in terms of energy. Um, and so we're actually uh, power efficient even when we're changing when we're changing the display compared to an LCD display. Now is this uh, technology available to uh, businesses that say wanted this sort of thing in a wall right now, or is this just an early prototype? So this is an early prototype, and like you know, all the other products we have, you know, we're, our business is not to deliver the end tiles. We are working with partners that are in the architecture products business, or in the design furniture business, or other you know, similar types of businesses to incorporate our technology into their products. And so we're working with uh, some partners now and some companies that you know are interested in working with us. We've been we're working with some of them for. Uh, uh, over a year, um, and so that's basically our business model for that. And, and in years past, I know we've seen uh, color e ink uh, on e readers, but it never really took off in a big way in those sorts of products. Uh, but uh, I know that we've also seen in previous years that you've expanded beyond e readers, as we mentioned. So uh, things like price tags and other sorts of products. Uh, so this is yet another uh, new te new type of technology that could expand beyond what people traditionally think of as e ink, right? Exactly. You know, we've always viewed ourselves as being uh, a materials and display company. And so here, you know, this is an example of when you, we focus on a particular market, how we can better tune our technology to that market. So here, we've actually encapsulated real pigment, real colored pigment within the microcapsules, more than two pigments, to generate, uh, to see the colors are a lot more vivid, a lot richer than you, than you saw in previous years. Um, and you know that's kind of novel about that, uh, that technology. And we're seeing uh, sort of pinks and reds and whites here. Could you do other colors as well? Yes, we can actually incorporate different pigments in there. As I as I mentioned, we can incorporate uh, more than you know, can incorporate more than two pigments and control them. Um, and so we can actually create different views and different colors as well.